Hello ladies and gentlemen, I am Dr. Claudia Albers, Planet X research and professional physicist. And today I'd like to bring to you another one of my articles. This one is entitled, Is Mercury Shrinking or Expanding Like the Earth? Now Mercury is the closest planet to the Sun. And it was once thought to be a dead planet that had frozen solid. In other words, that it no longer contained a liquid mantle, as it was believed not to have a magnetic field and no atmosphere. Because of its small size and no apparent atmosphere, M Mercury was thought to be much like the Moon, which has just about no magnetic field. And here's an image of Mercury. As you can see, it does look quite a lot like the Moon. It has a lot of craters like the Moon. And uh, it's actually much smaller than the Earth. Mercury's radius is 2,440 kilometers, and the Earth's radius is 6,371, um, and the Moon is 1,737. So it's m much closer in size to the Moon uh, than uh, to the Earth. It is, it's a bit uh, larger than the Moon. It's 1.4 times uh, the size of the Moon and it's only 0.38 times the size of the Earth. However, in 1974, when Mariner 10, uh, when the Mariner 10 probe flew by Mercury, it was discovered that it did have a magnetic field, but that it was 100 times weaker than the Earth's. In 2011, the messenger probe orbited Mercury and discovered that in addition to the magnetic field, Mercury also had a tenuous atmosphere, a magnetosphere that stops the solar wind from impinging the surface at a distance of 1.5 times the radius of the planet, uh, as measured from the center of the planet. Thus, Mercury began to be viewed more like the Earth than the Moon. Because of its slow period of rotation, it was thought that Mercury may have had regions where water ice was possible, and this was confirmed by the messenger probe. And here you see an image of what seems to be ice on the surface of Mercury. Now the fact that Mercury had a magnetic field was surprising because the planet seemed to be much denser than the Earth, which meant that it had to have a proportionally larger core than the Earth for its size, and therefore a very small liquid mantle. And in addition, with its extremely low rotational period of 58 days, it is hard to imagine how a magnetic field could be generated since it is conventionally accepted that a planet's magnetic field comes from the currents produced within the mantle and driven by the planet's rotation. But as I have showed in Article 167 entitled Magnetic Pole Shift and Crustal Displacement, a planet's magnetic field has several different components. The inner one is permanent, whilst the upper components are not permanent, but arise as a result of solar wind particles, creating particle currents which align with the inner permanent magnetic field. So there is no need for a large liquid mantle of fast rotation in order for a planet to have a magnetic field. And the fact that Mercury does have a magnetic field, which is much stronger than the Moon's, seems to confirm that. Now Mercury is also believed to be shrinking. And here you see some features on Mercury which are believed to be false scarps. And these are believed to suggest that Mercury is cooling and shrinking. Now, a fault scarp is a step in the ground where one side of the ground on one side of the step has moved upwards with respect to the ground on the other side. The presence of these features on Mercury have been interpreted as evidence that the planet is shrinking. But these features are just as likely to indicate expansion as shrinking as it is as likely that one of the sides of the ground has moved up as it is that it has moved downwards. On Earth, fissuring is occurring at a fast rate in the African Rift Valley, where the eastern part of Africa is separating from the rest of the African continent. And there, as well as other regions, such as in a town in Peru, uh, where I show an image of that below, the ground is usually higher one side than on the other of the fissure. Fissuring is a sign that the ground is moving apart and that therefore the Earth is expanding.
In addition, there are many more signs of cracks and fissures on the surface of Mercury than false scarps. And the fissuring can also lead to the appearance of false scarps, where a mountainside may slide downwards as a result of fissuring, as has occurred in a town in Peru. And you may look at Article 297 entitled Town in Peru Destroyed as Earth's Surface Breaks Up Due to Planet X. And here you see an image, and this is the fissuring that has occurred in that town. And this is the Cututu uh, region in Peru. And you can see the broken uh, blocks of ground separated by fissures. And these fissures are still continuing to grow in size. And they started appearing in 1998. And now the whole town is being destroyed. Now, one of the deep fissures, uh, which we see here in this image, um, had, that has been open. And, and here we see that the ground on one side is higher than the ground on that side. And a bit further away, you can see ground that is at a lower level. So ground rises up on, on sides of these fissures whilst it may uh, move downwards on the other side. Now, after years of the ground cracking open, the fissures are keeping on growing in size. Eventually, the ground disconnects, and this is what we see here, from the hillside and slid downwards, creating a step of false scarp. This is what occurred here. The fissuring actually led to the formation of the step because the hillside disconnected from uh, the hill. And so this is therefore very likely to occur during fissuring. Now, um, thus false scarps are not necessarily a sign of a planet shrinking. They could well be of it expanding, as the Earth seems to be doing. And on Mercury, we actually see a lot of signs that fissuring is occurring. There's this huge fissure running through the center of this crater here. And this is definitely a sign that the planet is expanding. And this is the certainly the largest one, but there are signs of other fissures um, close by. As you can see here, this looks like another fissure. There, there. Um, lots of uh, large uh, structures that definitely look like fissuring. And these also uh, look like a large number of fissures running through the surface of Mercury at this region. And this suggests that Mercury is expanding, not contracting. Now, since there seems to be many cracks and fissures across Mercury, it seems that the planet is therefore expanding, just like the Earth is expanding. This is also what we would expect to occur as a result of the invasion of our solar system by the planet X system of stellar cores, or dead stars, which absorb energy from the Sun and the planets in the solar system. As planets lose energy, they lose gravitational influence and thus are not as able to pull in their matter, leading to expansion. And you may look at Article 321 entitled Huge Planet X Star in the Inner Solar System and Article 210 entitled Stellar Core Gravity, Tidal, and G is Not Constant for more details. In conclusion, fissures on the surface of Mercury suggest that the planet is expanding just like the fissuring occurring on Earth suggests that the Earth is expanding. The expansion is caused by the loss in energy to the stellar core debris and stellar cores belonging to the planet X system, which have invaded our solar system and which, due to their low energy status, absorb energy from the Sun and the planets in the solar system. And here are the references. This is Dr. Claudia Albers, Planet X physicist. Thank you for watching.